For the next few minutes, you will act as one of your colleagues in need of your container. There are two ways for your colleagues to inherit your work. First, they can inherit the entire container and its contents. This can be done from the Tools menu or the Container Scene Explorer. Either way, the result is that the container you created is now in their scene, in the same location you created it in, and with the name you gave it. Another method is to manually create a container and then use the inherit content method. They still inherit your work but based on the location of the newly created container. The label is also different. Both methods, however, do not allow your colleagues to edit your work. At best, they can transform the container for placement in the scene. Had you chosen to enable the Allow Edit in Place option, the Edit in Place button would not be grayed out. Your colleagues would then be able to completely change and overwrite your work. A safer method would arguably be to disallow editing by a third party. If your colleagues still need to make changes, perhaps by turning the 1-door 12-inch cabinet into a 2-door 24-inch cabinet, here's what they can do. Using the Merge Source Definition button, the colleague has now effectively created a local duplicate of your container contents. At this point, this open container has lost its link to your original. The colleague can now make the necessary changes to turn this 12-inch cabinet into a 24-inch cabinet. Note that when you make a clone of a component that's already part of a container, such as the door in this case, the clone is also part of that container. Rename the container helper ContLocab24i. Since this is a new local container, it needs to be saved as a separate container definition file. If you forget to do so and try to close the container, you will be prompted to give it a name. In a collaborative environment, container files, max C files, should be placed on a server where everyone can benefit from them. To create duplicates, multiple 12-inch cabinets, you can manually add more containers and inherit their contents or simply clone the existing containers. Even used as a copy, cloned containers will follow the container definition file, as defined by the last person to save the container.